Now, I love me a good point and shoot camera, and so far, the Canon PowerShot G10 reigns supreme for me. But when Lee Windrich messaged me, said he was in the area, did I want to make a video, and did I fancy using his Olympus Tough TG6? Of course, I said yes. So we swapped point and shoot cameras, had a wander around town for the day. Um, so here's my photo walk, my thoughts on the Olympus TG6. And if you want to find out what Lee did and how he got on with the Canon PowerShot G10 and the Lumix LX3, go check out his video after this one. The big question though is, will the Canon PowerShot G10 still be my favorite point and shoot camera? <music> Now it turns out that the first full hour or thereabouts of the POV footage was completely lost. The Insta360 decided to record 55 seconds and then quit on me for quite a while. So I've lost that entire first hour. But to be fair, that was basically me just getting to grips with the camera, just getting a feel for it and talking through the first couple of images. So what I want to do now is I'm going to show you those images. You'll get to see the JPEG straight out of the camera and the edited raw files and I'll talk you through them again and then we'll catch up with the POV footage that we actually got. All right, so let's just have a quick look around the Olympus Tough TG6. It features a 12 megapixel 1 over 2.3 inch BSI CMOS sensor, 25 to 100 mil equivalent f2 to f4.9 stabilized lens. It's waterproof to 15 meters, shock proof, crush proof, freeze proof down to minus 10 and dust proof. It's got a three inch non-touch fixed screen on the back. It supports raw shooting, has a one centimeter minimum focusing distance and 20 frames per second burst shooting. It also incorporates things like 4K video and Pro Capture modes that you'll find in other Olympus cameras. For these first few images, I was looking mainly for how the camera handled the light and the color, and I had it set up in pretty much the same way that I set up all of my other compact cameras. So, program mode, ISO at base, white balance on auto, and exposure compensation set to minus a third of a stop. And to be honest, I was pretty happy with how some of these came out. With its 25 to 100 millimeter equivalent lens, the TG6 sits pretty much right in the middle of the Lumix LX3 and the Canon G10, which have 24 to 70 and 28 to 140 millimeter lenses respectively. So it feels pretty versatile for street use.
most of these images, my edits were mainly exposure corrections and cropping, and this second image I felt definitely could benefit from a crop. It was while shooting these images that I noticed that the Olympus suffers from quite noticeable blue fringing and low contrast dependent on the angle and intensity of the light. But both things are correctable in post, but you know, I thought it was something that was just worth mentioning. I like to photograph surreal and funny things and I thought that this fit the bill perfectly and it was about this point when I finally felt like I'd found my flow and was getting properly into the images so they started actually coming thick and fast after this. stop for a coffee and then we headed over to the old town again and to the marina and I just got a whole bunch of photographs. I saw these traffic cones stacked on top of these barriers that had been used to close off the roads as the military parade had been walking through and I thought it made a really cool frame for this man on the bike. Then I moved around and looked at the cones from the other side and realized that you kind of had that forced perspective of the cone, you know, with the building on the back, everything is going to be in focus with this small sensor. So I just waited for somebody to walk through and this was the shot. Now I decided to crop this square because I felt like the cone behind the man didn't really help that forced perspective and cropping it square just kind of really made it hit home. Now, after looking at the images and having a day using the camera, I still feel like the Canon G10 reigns supreme as king compact, at least in terms of image quality and usability. But the Olympus TG6 and cameras like it certainly do have the edge when it comes to build quality and durability. Now, as I already said, the Olympus TG6 is practically bomb proof. So if you're working in, you know, rough environments in all kinds of weathers, these cameras are definitely worth considering. Or if you're just clumsy as hell and want something that won't break the first time you drop it, good for you too. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go give Lee's video a watch, see how he got on with the G10 and the LX3. I've linked it in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.